Hey Collapsers, it's Tuesday. Um, it's raining really, really bad and I left my camera in my car, so I'm filming this on my laptop as well as my roommate's home and I don't want her to hear me, so I'm filming this in my closet. So being on Tumblr so much, I remember like a lot of stories and things that have happened to me that I want to tell you guys, and I'm like writing them down so I don't forget. So today I'm just going to tell you some stories and I'll probably do it again because there's a lot. So when I was like 13, I was with my little stepbrother at the time in my dad's room and he was watching TV on their bed and I wasn't like next to him on the desk on the computer and I think I was playing like Club Penguin for him at the time which whatever and um I thought it'd be weird or I don't know what I was doing but I just started typing in random words and doing like dot com and seeing if it would take me anywhere so I was like fart.com poop.com you know like all these stupid words I was like 13 and I don't remember what I typed I ended up typing one word and it took me like to like a porn site and not even like a normal porn site I'm imagining like one of the ones that just pop-ups non-stop I was like, oh shit, and I like exit out of it, and pop-ups was coming up with like, guys sucking dick, and girls, two girls together, and I was like, oh my god. So I just tried to close all the tabs, and I like turned off the computer, and I was like, alright, we should go, and I just like, got my brother out of the room. And so when my dad came home, he turned on the computer, and the virus was still there, and it just kept popping up porn nonstop. And he was like, who did this? And I was way too embarrassed, or nervous, or scared to say it was me, so I was like, I don't know, and because my little brother was in the room, and he was a boy, even though he was, like, nine at the time, they assumed it was him, and he got in trouble for it, and they had to, like, pay for it to get cleaned up, and it was just, like, a whole mess, and I never told them it was actually me, and I'm sure they haven't thought about it in years, but, yeah, I, my brother still, I let them think he did it, which is horrible, but. In high school, we had a couple substitute teachers that would go to all the classes, and they were kind of, like, you know, the substitute teachers are at school, and there was this one guy who was probably like 26 at the time, which is pretty young for, um, like an authority figure in the classroom, and he was really fun, you know, all the kids liked him and stuff, and so, um, I was like as friends with him as he could be, being one of the students, so he would like use my password to get on the computer and like always make me go to take shit over to other classes, and so I felt comfortable enough with him to tell him that he looked just like Count Olaf in a series of unfortunate events, because he did. Like, he looks like a younger version of him, and actually a cute version, but he looked just like him. So one day we were in the middle of class, and I was like, you know what, you look just like Count Olaf. And he was like, you know what, you look just like Hermione, but uglier. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so that's happened. Alright, yeah, it's raining really, really bad, and it's awesome. So I'm going to lay in bed and probably read some fanfiction. Brett, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, what is this? Ah!